This video will demonstrate how to assemble Skirmisher Publishing's cardstock character paper miniatures. These basic instructions will work on any cardstock character set. To start, you'll need to have the PDF file of the paper minis printed on firm cardstock. You can do this at home with certain printers, or you can have your friendly local print shop do it for you. Once you have printed the minis, you will need cutting tools. While you can use a basic pair of scissors for nice straight cuts, we recommend you use a metal ruler or other straight edge and an X-Acto knife. Line the ruler up along one of the edges of the boxes around the minis and use it to carefully guide the blade of your knife as you cut. It may take a couple of passes to get all the way through the cardstock. Repeat this on all four sides until you have a block of miniatures free from the page. Now you're going to score the center line between the two rows of miniatures. To score this center line, you will line up your ruler and then use the back of your X-Acto blade, so that's the dull side, not the sharp side, and drag it along the center line, once more using the ruler as a guide. Be very careful not to cut yourself on the exposed edge of the blade while you do this. Once the line is scored, you will be able to gently fold the block of miniatures along that center line. To help give the fold a nice sharp crease, use a broad burnishing tool. You can see me using a bone folder here, but the back of a wooden spoon works perfectly well too. Gently press and rub the tool along the folded edge to get it to crease and lie flat. Next, you will have to score the line between the figures and the gray boxes at the bottom. These gray boxes are how you attach them to their bases later, so they will need to fold to be perpendicular to the figures. Just like last time, you want to use the back of your blade and your ruler to score along the line. And then you'll repeat this on the other side. Now, when we open the block of figures, you can see the three different score lines along the top, middle, and bottom. Next, you will take a glue stick and cover the backs of the figures. Stay between the outer score lines and do not get glue on the backs of the gray flaps. Remember, those are for a later step. Once you have the back of the cardstock covered in glue, fold the block in half again and press gently so the figures' front and back views are stuck together. Then, gently fold out the bottom gray strip to be perpendicular with the figures. Do this on both sides. To help the figures stay together while the glue sets, get yourself a great big book and stick the block of miniatures in between the pages, leaving the gray flaps sticking out the edge. This is why we use a glue stick and not liquid glue, because we don't want our figures to get stuck in the pages and ruin our lovely book. Let the weight of the book hold the figures together while the glue sets for about half an hour. While you're waiting for the glue on the figures to set, go back to your sheet of cardstock and use your X-Acto and ruler to cut out the line of bases that correspond with your figures. They're printed right underneath them. Use your knife to carefully separate each base from the row. After half an hour, you can remove your block of figures from the book and use your knife and ruler to cut along the printed lines and separate each figure from the block. Since this is just one short cut and the cardstock is double thickness here, you can also use a pair of heavy duty scissors for this step. Now
Now you're ready to attach bases to the figures. Make sure the bottom flaps are opened out to be flat and perpendicular to the figure. Then take one of your bases and apply some liquid school glue. Stick the gray flaps to the base and hold them together for at least a minute while the glue sets. Once the glue is set, you have a completed paper miniature. If you prefer, you can also turn your bases into hexagons. Once the glue is thoroughly dried, you can use a pair of heavy-duty scissors and follow the printed guidelines to clip the corners off the base through all layers of cardstock. At this point, you could even make your bases more polished by painting them or adding flocking, sand, or other basing material. The same assembly process applies when working with a single or odd-sized paper miniature. Cut free from the cardstock sheet, score and fold, score and fold out bottom flaps, Apply glue to the back of a figure between score lines and fold together. Once the glue on the figure is dry, fold out the flaps and attach the corresponding base with liquid school glue. Paper miniatures are a great way to expand your collection of gaming figures without taking up huge amounts of storage space or breaking your budget. We hope you found this tutorial helpful, and please feel free to reach out to us with any questions about our cardstock characters line. Game on, friends!